Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and we have a tournament in France this week on the indoor hard courts, an ATP 250 event at the Marcel Open in Metz this week. Actually, it got cancelled last year because of the COVID-19 virus, but it's back again this year, and we've got some big names playing, but some big names have also pulled out, so let's go to the withdrawal list. So having a look at the names that have pulled out of this one, and it's all the young guns. Alcarez, he is not playing this event. Goffin has also pulled out. Nishioka, and also Sinner has pulled out of this event as well. All right, starting at the top of the draw, we have eight seeds in this one, and the top four seeds get a buy in the first round. Hercatch, the Miami Open champion, of course, Wimbledon semi-finalist. He's the number one seed. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on the winner of either the wild card Puy or a qualifier who are going at it in the first round. Then we've got another wild card, Barrer versus Pospisil. Winner of that match takes on one of the best first round matches in the tournament, the wild card. Andy Murray takes on the number six seed, Umbert in the first round. Circle that one as one to watch. That is a very big blockbuster match. Then we have the number four seed, Diminor, having a bye in the first round. He'll take on the winner of Rindernick versus Giron, who are going at it in the first round. Then we got the veteran, Gasquet, taking on a qualifier in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either another qualifier or the silver medalist at the Olympics, the seventh seed, Hashinov in the second round. So a pretty stacked half of the draw here with some big unseeded players and also some obviously great seeded players. Players to watch out for, got to watch out for her catch. I mean, he's had a very good season this year, actually playing for a spot in the ATB finals that are happening only in a couple of months' time. So got to keep an eye on her catch. Also, Diminor, who hasn't had a great season. It's been a bit up and down, had a great start to the year, but hasn't had a great season in the last couple of weeks. So this smaller tournament might be able to help him get into some form. And also interested to see how Hashinov does in this one as well, because obviously won the silver medal at the Olympics. So interested to see if he can back that up, because didn't play great at the US Open, actually lost very early on in the first couple of rounds. So interested to see if he can rebound at a small tournament like this. And he does like playing on the indoor hard courts. Bottom half of the draw now, we've got the number eight seed, Basilashvili, taking on Maga in the first round. The winner of that match takes on either Fakina or Simon in the second round. Then we've got a qualifier versus Cecchinato. Winner of that match takes on the French local excitement machine, the number three seed, Monfils, who gets a buy in the first round. Then we've got the number five seed, Sonigo, taking on Fucevic. Winner of that match takes on either Martinez or Poprin in the second round. Then we've got Shardy versus Struff. Winner of that match takes on the number two seed, Carino Busta. So again, some big names in this one. It's actually a pretty stacked event for such a small event with an ATP 250, of course. Players to watch out for. You've got to watch out for the big seeds. Carino Busta and Monfils, especially Monfils, in front of his home crowd, a tournament that he should do well at, especially being an indoor hardcore as well. Interested to see how he plays because his season hasn't been that great. And this is a tournament that is primed for him to do well at. But also keeping an eye on Basilashvili because he is one of those dangerous players that in a small tournament like this, where it's very even between the top seed and some of the unseeded players, there's not much of a gap. He could really sneak through the draw, especially being in the bottom half. I would not be surprised if he gets to the semifinals or even make the final. So watch out for Basilashvili in this one as well. So there it is, the Marcel Open. We didn't get it last year. It was uh, canceled last year, of course, because of the virus, but it's back again this year. And it's pretty stacked compared to previous years. I mean, you've got guys like Andy Murray playing, all the seeds like Hercatch, you've got Carino Buster playing, Monfils is playing. I mean, it's a pretty stacked event for such a small tournament as an ATP 250. But let me know down in the comments below, who do you think is going to win this one? Because it is such a small tournament with some big names. It's one of those tournaments where maybe an unseeded player wins it, maybe a low seed wins it, like I said, with Basilashvili or maybe Umber. You gotta watch out for those guys. Let me know down in the comments below, who do you think's gonna win it? Going through the draw, and I'm gonna go with Monfils. I know he's had a pretty bad season on the court. Of course, off court, he's got married, so he's had a great off season or off court. I'm gonna back him for this one. I feel like he's got a good little draw, and playing in front of his crowd, playing in front of his home crowd as well, I think it's gonna help him a lot. So I'm gonna go with Monfils to win this one, but again, it's one of those tournaments where anybody could win it, so I don't pick him with much confidence, but I'm gonna go with Gail Monfils and see if he can win on the indoor hard courts. Again, let me know down in the comments below, who do you think is gonna win this one? So we're starting the European indoor hard court season and an ATP 250 event this week in France.